a good evening everyone for today's vlog i'll be talking about audio visual media audio visual materials are the most complete resources for teachers due to their availability and versatility also they enhance the learning the experience of students and teachers alike definition of sounds audio material tools to convey information through sounds uh, one example of this is speakers. So these speakers is one way to convey information to our audience or our students for them to be able to hear on what is the topic or what are we saying. Visual material. Tools to convey information through sight. For example, visual aids, charts, or anything that the students will be able to see in front of them. Video, electronic medium for recording, copying, and broadcasting of moving visual images. For example, our phone um, has the ability to capture anything. Our camera um, is be able to video or broadcast anything that is in front of us. And also, it can be used as a one tool of recording. Function of functions of audio visual materials teaching music literature science and documentation activities teaching language and other content areas to foster oral communication so those three bullets that you are seeing today those are the objectives of audio visual materials this will enable us to convey documentation activities, um, teaching language areas, and also it enhance our oral communication abilities. To motivate interpretation. So this phrase means that this enhance our interpretation in a certain topic with the use of visual materials. Why? Because in my experience, using visual aids is, you know, is okay, but I prefer um, electronic visual aids, for example, PowerPoint presentations that will be connected to our TV in school. This enables us to improve our interpretation during the topic because it is very um, colorful and also um, it is very fun to look at so it can motivate our interpretation during the topic to make use of sketches and broadcast so it enables us to we um, write notes and also we can clearly see the topic what is the topic all about because it is encoded by a computer it is more visible than a student's handwriting. Next, audio recordings. This may come in cassettes or CDs. Radio broadcast. Transmission of radio programs can be live or tape. So visual media, as I have said, well, as what I have said a while ago. Um, bulletin boards, a form to display information on a board. Um, as you can see, uh, there's a picture at beside of the sentence that I have made. Those were the example of a visual media. Uh, it is a visual aid. Posters, a form of display information using text and pictures. Types of audiovisual material. Audio visual media, motion picture videos, videos of sound mixed with motion pictures, films, large sequence of animated scenes and sounds. Guidelines for audio visual material in learning and teaching. Guidelines for audio visual materials in learning and teaching images should be as small as possible. So one of example one of exa uh, the example of this is, for example, uh, 
there is a group that is reporting in your classroom just imagine it and then you find their topic very long so you know very long topic so as well as you you're the audience you might get bored so in order for the students to in improve their interpretation during the topic you must make your topic concise and small as possible because it is easier for the students to absorb all that you're saying everything that you want them to learn so it's easier for them to interpret what are other topics that you are disseminating always provide alternative content check copyright um, plagiarisms use mp4 format as a size of 640 by 400 and a speed of 500 kilobytes per second save audio files in a mono format stimulate interest and emphasize promote efficiency clarify subject matter topics provides diverse teaching techniques for learning simplify and clarify complex topics allow students to learn at their own pace so this last part as you've seen it is it is said that allow students to learn at their own pace so I have this um, experience during my college days, um, high school and senior high school days that teacher, teachers are teaching not our pace as students but their own kind of way. So as me as a future, edu future educator, I must have the ability to be flexible to my students. Why? They're, they're still students. They are still students. So unlike ours, we have a very large gap of experience and the knowledge of a certain topic compared to theirs. So as what my visual said, allow students to learn at their own pace so that they can interpret and comprehend the topic what is all about. And we'll use, so maybe um, you will be able to use the visual aid as a future um, future uses um, then you can use it to other other um, you know uh, other things to reduce the quantity of asked questions requires correct use not all concepts can be taught should include only images and fit for bra boards might not might not guarantee learning so next is the disadvantages of using audio visual materials in teaching to prepare it good pron good pronunciation is needed so yeah this is correct because in order for your students or your audience be able to um, assess or be able to comprehend what is your topic all about or what are you saying is that you have to you must have the ability to have a good pronunciation so that it will be easier for them to understand it can be difficult next is it can be difficult to understand for children yes I have said a while ago we must have the flexibility to teach at their own pace a good internet speed is required the proper equipment is also needed because if you have a defective equipment and you know using this kind of material audiovisual materials is it will be hard for everyone to assess what you are doing and what you are trying to convince them to do Unit podcast examples, weekly updates of teaching materials and current situations for you. So like what we are doing right now, our online classes, is that uh, every week we have these quizzes, activities that our teachers are giving us. Also, this, uh, this helps us to make our grades uh, improve. Live online discussions between two or more people.
So one of the example of this is like the app that we are using today is the Google Meet. This allows us to have a online discussion to our teachers. To um, this is a one way of alternative in during this pandemic is online classes. Ways to use audio to support learning. Interviews with subject matter experts. This can be used as a core or support for lessons. So, for example, you are a, you're a teacher. You're still a new teacher. <clears throat> and then, you have this topic that you understand, but you want to know more. So, you have to find a specific expert or a mentor related to your uh, major or your topic so that you have this kind of core fundamental topics to support lessons so that you'll be able to acknowledge the learning that you wanted to student generated recordings used as a part of a learner activity or to record evidences of public lectures and those can be repurposed and used for different concepts and subject um, one of example of this for example we are having a online discussion so for us it's very hard to recall on uh, during online discussions because um, yeah it's barely online and then so that for us to be able to re recall what was the topic all about or what was the discussion all about we use this kind of app that allows us to record what is happening on our screens so that for in the future purposes we can still recall or we can still watch what was the topic all about that day to summarize to illustrate from performance and music to show practical activities most critical aspect of producing so before making your visual aids we must plan first right so planning helps us to be more um to be more to be more specific on what we are doing and also we can do it step by step so we must plan ahead of time a purpose why so what is the purpose of what you are doing brainstorming on how so brainstorming is one of the um, techniques that I am using right now it is still very effective I am still I started um, learning this kind of technique when I was in elementary until college um, because there's still a saying that two heads are better than one so brainstorming is one of the ways to acquire more knowledge and able to have an expound knowledge of the topic preparation next production. shooting or recording stage is what most people consider the production of production phase of an audio or video project publishing the publishing phase is the final part of producing audio or video for educational purposes and is often referred to as post production so one of the applications that we normally use today as as a publishing app is YouTube. This only the this is one of the apps that we are currently using today. But there are a lot of apps um Vimeo um SlideShare so anything that can convey audio or video for educational purposes. Programs to create, edited, edit, and publish videos to create Audacity, GarageBand, and Videos Media. These three applications have the same role in publishing videos. It records and edits sounds during, um, before publishing your video, you must edit. Programs to create, edited, and publish videos. To publish, use the web to accessing through YouTube, Vimeo, or SlideShare. 
So as what I have said earlier, this was the apps that we normally use. YouTube, Vimeo, or SlideShare. So guys, thank you for listening. I hope that you, be, you, ha that you have learned more than I am. Um, I hope that you're able to acquire the knowledge that you want for the certain topic, the audiovisual materials, and the subtopics to it. Thank you for listening, and have a good evening, everyone, and stay safe. Wear your mask always, and don't go out. Just stay at home, guys. Love you. Bye.